They're talking about this uh, SOPA, I guess. That's how you say it. SOPA, Stop Online Piracy Assholes or something like that. And, um, it, 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 to me, I try not to get involved in politics of it. I try not to, you know, say anything really about what's going on. You know, the old saying is, if you don't know about something, don't speak out about it. Anyway, but I had to address this one thing. They said that online pirating, piracy, uh, downloading videos, sharing videos on like mega video, uh, sharing movies on mega video and all, was hurting the studios. Now, I thought about that. Because to me, that's some BS. And I know you might not understand why is that BS. It is BS because think of... Think of five movies. Well, ten. Uh, think of ten movies that have came out this year. Uh, at least... Well, ten movies from top three studios. Um, Paramount, Columbia, whoever, Warner Brothers, and oh, I don't know, some other studio. I think of 10 movies that came out of those three companies. Now, go online, see how much it cost those studios to make these movies. Right? Say for example, Harry Potter cost Warner Brothers Warner Brothers uh, uh, 118 mil to make that last Harry Potter movie. Alright. Now that means that Warner Brothers Studios had to fork over 118 mil to the staff, the crew, uh, renting stuff, stunts, everybody that's behind it. Now, by the time the movie gets ready for the theaters, everybody has already gotten paid. As soon as it hits theaters, now the studio has to make that money back. The problem is with it. About 60 to 70 percent of these movies, based on ticket sales, do not uh, make that money back. If it costs, you know, a hundred mil to make a movie, and the two months after it gets released worldwide, it might make maybe uh, ninety million. It might make a hundred and five million. You know, if it makes something like ninety million, you know, it's not making its money back. But some some of those movies, you know, like. For example, those hundred million dollar movies, they'll make eighty or ninety mil in the theaters, and then when it gets released on DVD, on Blu-ray, when you can rent it on DVD or Blu-ray or buy it on DVD and Blu-ray, then it might end up making both on rental and ticket sale, you know, a hundred or five hundred ten mil. That gets it out of the red. But anyway, basically what I'm saying is take 10 movies that came out this year. Go online find out how much it cost the studio to make these movies. You know, uh, 90 mil, 100 mil, 300 mil, whatever. And then next to it, how much ticket sales were. Right? All the ticket sales. Huh? Did it make its money back on ticket sales? Then, then if you can, see how much uh, rental sales were for it. And add up ticket and rental and determine whether or not it, it uh, made it money back. Now the reason why I kind of brought that up is pirating a movie that somebody can rent for three ninety nine or buy for 15 20 bucks. It's not 
wants hurt in the studios. Well, certain the studios is agreeing to spend hundreds of millions of dollars on a movie on a star in hopes that you know Jennifer Anderson's name or and not Shyamalan's name would make a movie you know successful. If I spend three hundred dollars on somebody say washing my car for to win a car dealership show you know a car show so sort of like dog thing we have it down here don't worry if I spent three hundred dollars on getting somebody to fix up my car so that I can win you know most classy looking car of Georgia and I don't win that's three hundred dollars I'm banking on But what it is, studios need to stop spending so much money on making these movies. You know, it's not necessary to have CGI in every movie. It's not necessary to have a explosion scene in every movie. It's not necessary to hire A-list celebs who want nine million just to work on a movie. It, that's not necessary. You know, look at some of these movies that look, look at a lot of these movies that didn't cost hardly anything to make. You know, The Blair Witch cost what? Uh, in 1999 or 98, whenever it was made it cost $30,000. That's it. Even if it taint in the theaters, even if the movie had failed, just the fact that people would have went to see it, they would have made their thirty thousand dollars back like that. But now, if they did the Blair Witch, it would have they and Paranormal Activity. You know, Paranormal Activity didn't cost too much to make. Um, the original uh, Halloween, which I think was something like uh, five, six, seven hundred thousand to make, it didn't cost that much. And these movies went on and actually made their money back. But there are a lot of other movies that cost so much. It costs a lot. It costs hundreds of millions. And, you know, ticket sales and, uh, ticket sales and rental sales combined barely gets them out of the red. So I don't think, you know, I don't think somebody, I don't think putting a, let's say, X Men first class. On Mega Video, it's going to cost Warner Brothers into filing for chapter 17, 13, whatever, bankruptcy, alright? Comparing to the fact that they spend hundreds of millions on every shitty Jennifer Anderson movie, that spends hundreds of millions on every M. Not Shyamalan movie, hundreds of millions on all these crappy movies that get made and everyone hates them and all these remakes of 80's cartoons and stuff they spend all those money on that that is not financially bankrupt me. you know putting a video online for people to see is not ruining them it's these hundreds of millions of dollars they're investing in crappy lame movies and another thing another problem I have with um, you know people wanting to say it's a felony to download uh, pirated materials you know and I'm going to talk about really America for this because I don't know how it is for the rest of the country but you know America come on we already have an overcrowding in prison there's overcrowding in American prisons. 
Now you gonna you mean to tell me that you would let Casey Anthony, a woman who killed her baby, O.J. Simpson, the man who killed two people, um, uh, oh, what's her name? Um, uh, John Chat, uh, John Danny, that Chapman guy that shot John Lennon. I forgot his name. You gonna let these people out of jail? And that guy that shot me, that guy that tried to sh uh, shoot Reagan. You gonna let these four people out of jail? But you know, for, for crimes a hell of a lot serious than stealing, you gonna let Casey Anthony and O.J. Simpson out of jail? And then turn around and arrest someone's 87 year old grandma? But someone's 87 year old grandma in jail for five years because she pirated a 99 cent song? Really? You know, let's be blunt. The tax payers, the amount of money going to arrest these people and prosecute these people and put these people in jail and house them to, for the for the five, ten, twenty years. The price of all of this far outsees the price of the stuff they poverty. And I know people say, well, you know, it's to teach them it's to teach them not to do it. People have been stealing for years. You know, there are people who still get thrown in prison, get back out, and steal again. I don't think putting somebody in jail with, you know, convicted sex offenders and serial killers and baby punchers and people who, you know, cannibals and stuff like that, sticking them in jail because, oh, I pirated the new YouTube album. Uh, YouTube album. I mean, seriously. Putting somebody in jail. All you gotta do is just do this. If someone pirates, instead of costing taxpayers millions of dollars, just say, uh, uh, you can't get internet. The people you live with can't get internet for a year. That's it. You're banned from the internet for a year. You know, you can't go to the library because, um, you know, the library, you have, well, I'm a library. You have to show a picture ID. So, ban you from that library. If you go to a friend's house and use their computer, they get banned from the internet for life. You do that, that will cut down on piracy. Sort of. I mean, it won't completely remove it, but it will cut down on it. And people wouldn't, taxpayers wouldn't have to pay for all that. So again, you know, 99 cent, taking a, stealing a 99 cent Frank Sinatra song and not financially bankrupting anyone, no more so than spending a hundred, spending 200 million dollars on a Jennifer Anderson movie that only made 15,000 in the theaters. So, you know, that's my view on SOPA and it's BS.